Hello friends, I want to welcome you back to our series talking about the characteristics of a disciple. And we're going to spell out the word disciple and each letter stands for a, a characteristic that we should have in our lives. D was dying to self. You can't be a disciple without first dying to self. The, the I is a letter that you don't hear much of today. It's, it's the word integrity. Integrity means doing what you said you would do. It means fulfilling your commitments. It means making sure that when you make a promise, you keep it. No matter what it costs, no matter if it profits you or it hurts you, you, you keep your word. Proverbs 20 verse 6 says, Many a man proclaims his loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy man? I, I hate to say it. Integrity is not something that is, that is found uh, everywhere you go. And so it should be, though in a Christian's life. If you've been born again, you, you should want to live a life of integrity. Biblical example of the life of integrity, how about Joseph? Tempted by Potiphar's wife, he could have easily compromised himself, who would have known? But he said, I will not sin against God. When I think about the word integrity, I think about the word consistency. It's being consistent with what's on the inside it's matching your life on the outside. Or maybe I should put that the other way. Your life on the outside matches that you've been born again on the inside. It's living a consistent life that says, no, I'm not going to hurt the reputation of my walk with the Lord. I'm not going to hurt the reputation of God. I'm not going to hurt my relationship with other people. And I'm going to make sure to teach this next generation, the future generations to come, how important integrity is. Let me encourage you. As you seek the Lord, do a self-examination. Are my actions matching up with what I say I believe? Or are you being consistent? Or better yet, are you living a life of integrity?